Hey YouTube and welcome back to tutorial number 23 and in this tutorial I'm just going to talk to you guys about pseudo classes so pseudo classes are actually built into CSS and they're there just to give you guys a little bit more control over your styling rules and like I said they are actually built into CSS so you can't go ahead and you know try use your own pseudo classes and expect them to work there's actually quite a few that are built in and then you have to use those specific ones so let's just go ahead and use an example real quick and what we can do is just make uh, four paragraphs so that's paragraph number one and I think I'm actually just gonna copy this quickly and what we can do now is just uh, say you and our next paragraph can be only and the next one can be live and I guess you guys can kind of see where this is going <laughs> once uh, so YOLO because uh, why not and now what we can do is go over to our CSS and what I want to do is I actually want to use a pseudo class to style the first letter of every single one of our paragraphs so as you can see I haven't actually you know surrounded uh, the first letter of our paragraphs with any sort of tag or anything like that I haven't actually done anything to them but what we can do now is we can use a pseudo class to actually just select the first letter of our paragraph and to do that we're obviously just gonna go ahead and select our paragraph first and now we're gonna use uh, the colon symbol just to say that we're gonna start using a pseudo class and like I said we want to select the first letter so there's uh, a, pseudo a pseudo class for that which is called first hyphen letter and that helps us just select the first letter obviously and what we can do now is maybe just change the color to blue and we can probably change the font size to you know 30 pixels or something go ahead 30 pixels and now when we go back to our HTML and then run this in Firefox you'll see we land up having this <laughs> um, paragraph or four paragraphs all with uh, a really big uh, letter at the front the first letter is all really big uh, it's actually 30 pixels and then blue so that's pretty cool and uh, that's pretty much how to use a pseudo class in CSS and like I said there are actually quite a few different pseudo classes that you can use so uh, there's actually first letter first child last child before after and I mean there's actually so many but I'll be covering uh, a few of them over the next couple of tutorials so that's all I have for you in this tutorial and I'll see you guys next time. I would appreciate it a lot if you guys really hit that subscribe button and also don't be afraid to comment, like or share my videos. It's really going to help my channel grow. So thanks very much and I'll see you guys next time.